Hey guys, how's it going? It's Dan Kearney here and welcome back to the Overwatch League Roundup. Win conditions, San Francisco Shock Edition. So, the theme continues from the previous two videos where we we looked at the Vancouver Titans and the New York Excelsior. San Francisco Shock are part of that top pack. Although they have fallen back of recent times, they did have, a I believe, two losses on the board in Stage 3 which has allowed the Hangzhou Spark in fourth to make some ground on the San Francisco Shock. San Francisco Shock go into one of their toughest stages of the season, if not their most toughest stage of the season. They've got a lot of teams who are vying for the playoff places in their, in their fixture list for this stage, including the likes of Seoul Dynasty, which is their first game of the stage in week one. That's not going to be easy. And a triple two meta, which might come in stage four, could have implications on that. Soul Dynasty have got to pick up wins if they want playoff. Because the likes of London Spitfire are going to have an easier stage than the Soul Dynasty are. So, San Francisco Shark are not going to find it easy against this Soul Dynasty roster. Especially with a bit more consistency with Fisher gone out of that roster. Shock could possibly drop maps here, if not the match. That's something they can't afford to do. They are trying to hunt down the Vancouver Titans, however. Vancouver Titans are obviously top of that Pacific Division right now on that 20-1 record. Currently, San Francisco Shock are on a 16-5 record. The losses they've had in this in the previous stage against the likes of Houston Outlaws could really hurt come the end of the season. They lost ground on the New York Excelsior in the overall standings, and they lost ground on Vancouver. It seems unlikely that the San Francisco Shock are going to be able to catch the Vancouver Titans to try and take that number one in the Pacific Division, which would get them a bye in the overall playoffs. But we never know. Vancouver Titans have got their most difficult stage in their history of the Overwatch League, uh, or their part in the Overwatch League anyway. But the San Francisco Shock have equally got a very difficult stage. We've already talked about their Soul, their Soul Dynasty game in Week 1. In Week 2, they have to play the LA Gladiators, who are only two places below them. Van uh, the Los Angeles Gladiators, again, heavily in that tussle for those last playoff places. So this is, again, not going to be an easy game for the Shock. Gladiators have been improving constantly over the past two stages after a shaky start to the season. And Shock, they have looked fairly consistent. But the two losses in Stage 3 have worried me in terms of their ability to play the Sombra 3-2-1. This becomes more dominant and then if you go into a DPS meta that might be triple two in Stage 4, then you're suddenly thinking the likes of Shaw 4 and that can come out for the Gladiators. Well, he's already out for the Gladiators, but it can be more potent for the Gladiators. And the Shock are already training up the likes of Striker. To come back, Architect, we forget these sorts of players are on the Shock roster. The Shock roster is incredibly versatile. So this is something we could see that might need to come into play for the Shock in Stage 4. We might need to see Striker on the Widow or the Tracer. Architect, again. We haven't seen these guys all season because the meta has not favoured them. It's been Goats, which has firmly been Sinatra's stomping ground. But this might be the stage for things to change. The same with Excelsior, we might see Pine again and stuff like that. In week three, the Shock have got to play the Shanghai Dragons and Dallas Fuel. Again, Dallas must pick up wins this stage. Otherwise, they risk not even being in Philadelphia for their, for their playoffs because they are, yes, in the middle of those play-in places right now, but they are on a bad, bad run of form. And they are starting to be reeled in by the people below. So Dallas must get some wins on the board. Shanghai Dragons... They're looking better than ever, and they are equal in terms of win-loss ratio with the Seoul Dynasty, who are occupying that last playoff spot. So Shanghai are not going to be an easy opponent to go up against, and we know their proficiency in DPS from Stage 3. Shanghai are one of the pioneers of this new DPS 3-2-1, or the Hammond triple DPS metas that we've been seeing in Stage 3, although that might not be as prominent in Stage 4. In week 4, we see the San Francisco Shock go up against the Chengdu Hunters. I would expect the Shock to get a win over the Chengdu Hunters, although Chengdu will still have a lot to play for in terms of trying to get into the last play-in spot. So, again, none of these games are easy. 
There's a lot to play for. And then, of course, you've got the big Kit Kat rivalry weekend. This is where we'll see the Shock square up against the Vancouver Titans in the regular season. And where we will see them square up against the Valiant. Now, I'm sure we all know about the Los Angeles Valiant right now. What sort of run they are on. They have been phenomenal in Stage 3. And I'm only expecting them to get better since their transition to a more Western roster. So, Valiant and Vancouver are definitely games where you could see the San Francisco Shock slip up. Those two losses could open the door for this Hangzhou Spark to come in and nick a place off of the Shock, giving them a poorer seeding in the playoffs. And, of course, you're always going to want that better seeding. So, the Shock, it's a difficult stage. And I keep saying this, I've said this for New York and Titans, but it is their most difficult stage of the whole season. And it's kind of weird, it's coming in stage 4, which means so much. And this is what makes this great. Stage 4 is going to be absolute fire, because it's the most difficult stage for the top teams, and the most is at stake. And this is why teams like the Vancouver Titans wanted to get the groundwork done early in the season to try and make sure that if they did drop games against the likes of the Shock or Excelsior or whatever, then they'd have that buffer to not lose their top seedings. And this is the sort of luxury that can't be afforded to the likes of the San Francisco Shock because they've dropped games against the likes of the Houston Outlaws, which is not good, unfortunately. Shock, I would expect them to get into the playoffs. I'm not saying that Shock are going to capitulate in Stage 4 and not make it. They still have a 4-loss buff buffer over the, over the Soul Dynasty who occupy the last playoff spot. So I wouldn't expect them to lose 4-plus games in this stage. I really don't see that. There are three teams that I would nail on for playoffs right now, and that would be the Titans, Excelsior, and Shock. They are, or they've got that two-match buffer, the Shock, over the Hangzhou Spark, which makes them so much more comfortable than the Spark are. So, that's the San Francisco Shock. That's their win conditions. It, it, it's weird doing these first three teams because they're almost there. I mean, Shock, they can't fall out of the play-ins. So, if worse comes to worse then they'd have to play the play-ins, which they will probably dominate anyway. But I wouldn't expect them to need to do that. They should make the playoffs. In terms of the Pacific Division, it's a tough job, and they rely on the Vancouver Titans to slip up. But if there's any time the Vancouver Titans are going to slip up, it's Stage 4 because of their difficult run. So, it's not impossible for the Shock, but there's a lot of fingers that are going to have to be crossed to try and make that number one seed happen. But that's going to be it for this one. Next up will be the Hangzhou Spark. And this is where it starts to get a bit more interesting. Because it gets a bit tighter. And a lot more is at stake. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a like, subscribe if you're new. And I will see you in the next video. See you then.